Hi folk, coming on to show you a quick crafty um, money saving tip for this time of year. Now we all love a little bit of sparkle and glitter at this time of year, okay? It's a known fact with card makers. Anyone who sells cards know that your glitter cards tend to sell a lot faster. Perhaps, maybe. Um, and you can get an extra little bit of money for vamping it up. But the cost of glitter paper has skyrocketed. It is pretty expensive. Now, I know stamping up are four fifty for um two sheets of twelve by twelve glimmer paper. Um but you can get it cheaper than that. I average it roughly about one twenty five a pound to a pound fifty. So about one twenty five a sheet, okay? Now if you're getting four cards out of one sheet of A4 card, that's 25 to 33 pence per card, just for the glitter paper, or cardstock, sorry. It's a lot of money that you're having to then add to the costs before you even get a profit. So, I... I have shown a similar tip before where if I have a project and I don't have cardstock that matches, I will use um, a marker pen around the border to tie them all together and make it perfect. And I thought, why can we not do it with glitter? So, originally I... Got this card, the actual uh, topper from Craft Shoe Print. I had a commission 90th birthday card to make last week for um, a gentleman, and I had nothing in my stash to fit the theme that I was given. So I went on to Craft Shoe Print, and the minimum order over there is £5. So I had to pick another few bits and bobs and I picked up a few Christmas images that I really liked and I can see this one and being able to embellish it further without it taking too much time because I don't have a lot of time at this time of year. So when I had jazzed up my card and if I show you up close you can see there's um, a lot of sparkle there. Um, and down here on the grass, there's also sparkle. And it just, it's pretty. Um, and to get that effect, I used an old shabby brush. Now, if I bring that up, you'll see the bristles are disgusting. They're really chewed. But it's clean. I use my alcohol um, blending solution. Um, well, it's not really. It's um, astropanolol or whatever the proper name for alcohol is. There have been alcohol that you can buy. That's what it is. Because I just buy the big bottle and refill it into my little... Um, blending solution bottle I just decant it but this brush is my go-to <clears throat> for just adding on little touches and it's literally just dabbing here there and everywhere but for the up at the sky area because I've just bring that up really close it was more detailed that was needed so what I used there was the end of my embossing tool and I went 
into the lid after shaking it and you'll get a little bit on the end of it and then just plop it on um, and these last for ages I've just now two years there's about a quarter of a bottle left and it cost me 250 um and it does amazing anyway so once I had jazzed that up I thought mm, silver glitter silver mirror board is going to take away from the actual design so I pulled out my silver sharpie and I went round the edges and it was all right but it was still needing something and I pulled out my stickles and I thought maybe that will work so I I'll just show you I'll just grab a scrap so I used a scribble in fact I'll just do a, a wee bit so you can see what I mean Right, so we had did that. Um, where do I put my other stickles? La la la. Typical. The minute I put the camera on, I can't find it. Right, I'll move you over there a minute to see if it, it should be in here because I had it last night. La, 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 la. Not a, not a plain green, that's not going to work. Okay, wait a minute here. I have a nose Nope, not there. Hmm, that's annoying. Never mind, I've got other stickles that will work just as good. Yeah. Right, here we go. So much left in this one, so I've just need to give it a good shake. There we go. Right, so what I thought was a little bit of stickles over it. Use my finger and just dab it on. Like that. Yuck. And you'll see it's alright. It's not garish or anything. It's not bad. But I hate mess. I hate getting covered in glitter and so I raided my um, paint drawer and I came across my silver bling glamour dust paint. Now for this also for two years and I have used about a quarter of a bottle. A little goes a long, long way. Now if I just give it a wee shake. get my old patty brush and I'm just going in the lid so you can see there's not very much on the brush okay it's a, a really fine and I just painted it on let's give it a wee waft a second Um, maybe I need to clean my brush off a bit, but I'll just throw it on there a minute. <sighs> right, so you can see there is very little actually going on there. And it is much more subtle than the stickles. 
the stickles now obviously there's different colours of stickles you could use the silver stickles um that was stardust i believe um you could use crystal or icicles whatever one suits you but i just thought the silver glamour dust was gorgeous and as i said this is wet and you've seen how little i actually had in my brush now the other plus point about it i'll move that out of the way just now the other plus point about it is you don't need to get around the whole of the card you only need to do the border um and the other positive now i'm just trying to see you can see that my finger there is no glitter on there at all okay and i'm giving that right good i mean you can see the pressure in my finger i'm giving it a right good rub over and there is no cast off none so you're not going to get covered in glitter when you're writing them out or trying to fit, finish it off you're not going to get covered what I will say is when the card is wet with the paint on it, it does warp a little. Leave it to dry naturally. Just leave it alone. Go and do something else or paint a few of them. Do your card toppers. Prep your card. Then come back to it and it is straight. There's no bone or anything in it. It is great. And as I said, it is much cheaper than your glitter paper. Now, glitter paper still gets its massive roll in crafting. I'm not taking that away from it. But I'm just trying to think of ways to save that extra little bit of money at this time of year. Because we do all try and make a little bit from our crafting at this time of year. Um. For big projects like this, we would have been using a quarter of an A4 sheet. Fair enough, you could have die cut some little bits out of it. But it would have still been a lot of card. This is much cheaper. It's two fifty a bottle, a pound for a Sharpie pen. You could probably get away with a Bic or whatever cheap silver marker is on the market. Um... You could probably get away with grey ink, if I'm honest. Well, let's try it. Um, let me see. Um, basic grey from Stampin' Up. Might as well try it while we're here. Have another wee bit of card. And I'm just going to Dab that on. Oops. I keep forgetting that the basic grey is not a foam pad that's felt. Because it's an archival ink. Right. Still works the same way. That's probably a bit dark, so what I'll do is I'll use the smoky slate as well, and we'll see what they're like. Let me just... That'll dry light in a second. So we'll go on with this one first. Um, and I'll give it a big shake again. A little bit on the top of my paintbrush. As I said, it doesn't take a lot. And we're just... Now, 
And what I'll do is I'll actually heat this up to see how it is when it's dry. Right, and then we'll bring in my basic ever smoky slate. And I'll do the same, just a little bit on the end of my brush. Okay, so you can see I'm not throwing millions of paint on it. And this would work for any of your projects. Um, it really would. Give that a wee wipe off. Right, um, grab my wee heat tool. So just excuse the noise for a wee minute. Over and make sure it's dry as well so you can see. Right, so oh. yeah, it works. So you've got this one is the basic grey. Oops, that's bent a wee bit there, but it's still. So that's the basic grey, which has given you a really dark almost um, graphite colour. Then we've got, I like this one actually, this is the smoky slate and I mean look how sparkly that is and if you notice that against there, there's not much of a difference. It's probably one shade darker. And it's still sparkly and you can see what I mean by the stickles when it dries this is the stickles end it's I mean it's fine it's not anything drastic but I just think that the glamour dust works so much better it's much more cost effective because your stickles is about one 125 a bottle of 150 a bottle and you're only getting what five ounces otherwise you are getting whoops two US fluid ounces so that's 18 mils and that is 59 mils so it's a big difference and as I said, you get some stunning results. So have a wee play and see what works for you. Um, as I said, I do have a load of these. I actually got them um, when I was getting right into mixed media and stuff. And I've got purples and greens, blues, reds, you name it, I've got it. Um, and they've sat for a good bit. But I'm going to start using them more. And I think this is just perfect. Um, and as I said, there's no fallout. I just clean my finger off because I have been, wait a minute, see. That middle finger, there's very little. Whoops. There's nothing on that. Some of my other fingers have got a wee sparkle on them, so I'm just going to use that. And you can see no fallout. I'll use it on the dark. No fallout. That's it on the light. We'll fall out and with the stickles, I don't know if that's dry. There's no fallout either. Although the stickles is a lot more textured, you can hear the glitter in it. It's a lot smoother on that side, it's like a fine um, sandpaper that's more of a coarse that's the only way I can describe it anyway lesson over so just
try and save some money where you can and maximise what you've got. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.